Hi, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Align and Distribute tool in Inkscape. It's actually a pretty handy tool, especially when you're making mockups and stuff. Um, and let's say you cloned a number of elements and you want to uh, have each of them aligned in a certain way, uh, as well as maybe you want them to be equidistant from each other. So that's the main case when I've been using uh, this tool. So let's see some examples. I'm going to create a small rectangle, uh, let's say a square, press, press control to create a square. I'm going to create three squares here. And I'm just going to lay them out, you know, just anywhere on the canvas. So now I have three squares, all of different sizes right now. Let me just make one larger just to show you, you know, give you an idea of how the tool works. And this one is a little bit smaller. All right, so we have three squares of three different sizes right now, and we want to apply, you know, alignment or distribution to each of them. So the simple thing that you can start with is, you know, first select the, the items that you want to be aligned with each other. Uh, and then we got to open up the dialog, which contains the options. So go to, uh, where is it? It's, yes, it's object, align and distribute. And you see here, you have this option here, which says align and distribute, and we'll briefly cover each of them. Okay, so now we have three items select selected, and you have a number of options here, which says relative to. And what this means is, how do you want each of these items to be aligned when you choose an alignment option? So let's, let's first say the selection area. So this is my selection area. This is the top of the selection area. The this is the center and somewhere here is the bottom of the selection area. So if you look at the selection area and if you select this option which says center on the horizontal axis, it will try to align the selected objects along the center of the selection. So I'm going to click on this and you see they're all now aligned along the center of the original selection. So I'm going to control Z you can always control Z in this when working with the align and distribute tools, which which is actually pretty convenient. Uh, I'm going to select another option. Uh, so this time I'm going to say I want the small and large rectangle or squares to align with the top of the first square. So I'm going to select the first square first. I'm going to press Shift and select the second square, then the third one. So now, when I want to align, I choose the option saying uh, first selected. So relative to the first selected, I want everything to share the same uh, top edge. So I'm going to select this option. And now the remaining squares have aligned to the top of the first selection. In the same way, you can always change the selection, you know, change uh, the relation to which objects are uh, select or aligned. The other nice option that you have uh, in this panel in this panel is the distribute option. So let's say I have these three squares here, right? And I want uh, them to be, you know, aligned to not to be aligned this time, but also uh, I want them to be equally equidistant from each other. So if I select these three items. And I say, hey, uh, with respect to the selection area, I want all of them to be aligned, have the same left edge. So I select this. Now, let's say for some reason I have this guy which is a little bit far away now, and I want them to be equidistant. So in that case, it's not an alignment. It's called, you know, a distribution. So I'm going to select this option from distribution, which says make the vertical gaps between objects equal. So um, the moment I do this, the three squares are now equally distributed from each other. And this is really nice when you have, you know, uh, when you have a list of names on your mockup and uh, you just want, you, you had actually cloned them and you want them to be equidistant. So you can draw and, you know, begin your work in freestyle. And then eventually when you know when you have an idea of where you want to place things, you can select an item, choose uh, relative to which item you want the 
uh, alignment or distribution to happen and then select one of the different alignment or different uh, distribution options that you see here. Uh, I think that's that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to explore more stuff here. The plenty of options here and I don't want to make the video too long by explaining each one of them but you'll have fun exploring them. Um, also if you have um, any questions that you that you want to ask you know just let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on something just let me know about that too and I'll be happy to you know share something some stuff with you. Thanks for watching.